Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is my July favorites, and I know I did a summer 2017 favorites a few videos back, but I've got some favorites that I didn't mention in that video and some that I did, but I just wanted to do a new monthly favorites video for you guys and show you some of the stuff I've been loving because these are my favorite videos. I love sharing my favorite products with you guys. I think that that is one of the most useful videos I have found on YouTube. I just really like favorites because if it's someone's favorite product, then it means that they've really tested it and really actually do love it. So I trust those recommendations a little more than just the offhand like first impression recommendations and things like that. So now that I've rambled a little bit, let's get started. And we're going to start with skincare because I only have one product for that. So my skincare favorite this month is Glossier Super Bounce. This is one of their serums that they came out with a few months ago. And this one is basically the hydrating serum. The way that I really like to use serums is I just drop a couple of drops into my moisturizer and rub it together and just rub it all over my skin. That's because I'm lazy. You're supposed to use this before moisturizer, but I mean, it's all going on my face, so why not just do it all at once and knock out a couple of steps? So that's how I like to use this, and it just does the kind of juicy skin thing really well. It just makes my skin feel really hydrated and my skin has been feeling super dry lately because it is literally over 100 degrees every day right now in Texas. I love you guys a lot. I am filming without fans on right now and I am sweating. So yeah, just so you know. But I really like this. I find that it mixes really well into my moisturizer and the combination does a really nice job of moisturizing my skin. I do find that the packaging is kind of deceiving. There's not as much product as you would think in here. So I am not sure that I would say that it's worth the price. I do like it a lot and I'm using it because I have it. But I'd almost recommend like a rosehip oil instead. That's what I was using before this. But I do like it. I just don't know that it's worth the price tag. Next we're going to do some hair favorites because if you guys watched my previous video, I have been doing my hair a little bit differently for the last three-ish weeks now. Not today, obviously. Today I actually put a little effort in and curled my hair. But I've been doing a no heat waves style on my hair for the last month or so. And I have really been loving all of the products that I've been using to get that effect. So a few of them are new to me, a few of them I've had for a while and this is just a different use for them. We'll start with the new products to me. They are the Paul Mitchell Awapui Wild Ginger Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the Moisturizing Lather Shampoo and this is the Keratin Cream Rinse and I love these two. I feel like my hair has been so healthy thanks to these and also just not heat styling it but I really really like these they smell really awesome and my hair has just been feeling really good so I would definitely recommend these I got these at Ulta and I love them a lot and then the other two products that I've been using for my hair this month are products that I had before but now I'm just kind of using them a little differently the first is the way wave spray I'll leave my video on this linked down below but I'll also leave my wave like my no heat wave video down below as well. So look at both of those to get a more rounded out view of how I feel about this product. I definitely didn't love it the first in the first video. You'll see that I didn't really love how it worked for me, but now that I am using it a little differently, I'm really enjoying it. So I really love this. I've used about a third of the bottle over the last three weeks and I'm using these products every day, if not a couple of times a day. So I think it does a really good job. It lasts well. The sprayer is really nice and it smells really good. And then the last product that I'm using for my no heat wave style is the Orbe Gold Lust hair oil. I'm actually going to put a little bit of this on now because my ends, as I have mentioned before, whenever I curl my hair, I use a lot of like dry texturizing spray and just products that make my hair feel really dry and hairspray. So I like having an oil to just kind of help rehydrate the ends of my hair. And I don't know if that made any difference to you guys on screen, but my hair feels a lot nicer now. I really love the Scent of Orbe products and I really like that hair oil. It's very light. It doesn't make my hair feel too heavy or look greasy. 
I really just love it a lot and I think it's gonna last me a while too because you only really need about a pump at a time whenever you're using it. So that's hair for the month. Now let's move on to makeup. So I'm gonna get a couple of favorites out of the way that I've mentioned before, but I am just, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm still obsessed with them. The first is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is my numero uno concealer now, and I've had it since April, I think, and it's still going strong. I still have a ton of product left in here, so this is the one for me. I don't know that I'm ever going to need another concealer because I love this stuff so much. It does a great job on my skin. It stays all day. A little goes a long way and it lasts literally months, which I can't say about my doe foot tube concealers. So I love this a lot. It is my one and only concealer and I just wanted to reiterate to you guys that it is the bomb. If you haven't tried it, it's so worth it definitely go pick one up. And then my second favorite, I think they're going to have this available again. I know they've restocked it a couple of times now, but I just wanted to, again, say that I freaking love the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. Oh my god, it is gorgeous. I use it all the freaking time. It has everything that I could ever need in a palette, and that is the only eyeshadow that I have on my eyes today. I've got a couple of the lighter browns in my crease and then a darker brown in the outer corner and then a couple of the shimmers around the inside of my eye and I just love them. They're great quality, they blend amazingly and I just can't imagine needing another eyeshadow palette again. So if you haven't checked that out and they still offer it, I will have it linked down below or at least have a link for you to sign up for a notification whenever it gets restocked. It is so good, so worth it definitely keep an eye out for it. It's, yeah, I love it a lot. Moving on to new makeup favorites. Uh, my first is the Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is an eyeshadow primer and it's intended for glitter. So it is very sticky in texture, but I've just been using this as an everyday eyeshadow primer. Too Faced has really good eyeshadow primers and I have developed kind of oily eyelids over the last year or so, or at least I've started noticing it within the last year or so, and so I always find that because my eyes are a little bit hooded, anything that goes up into the crease whenever my eyes are open tends to rub off, but when I use this, everything stays. It is so good. Even though it is sticky and it's intended for glitter, this is some heavy duty stuff and it is making my eyeshadow last all day. So I love this a lot. I really enjoy it. Moving on to the next. Uh, this is a product that I've had a long time and I really have been so on the fence about it for such a long time. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I don't bake. I'm not interested in baking. I have too dry of skin for that, I think, and it just looks cakey on me when I use this stuff. But I have been using it to set my under eyes because I do have some lines under my under eyes and they tend to kind of have concealer settle in them. So I found that powdering helps prevent that from happening. And I think the issue that I was having with this powder before is I was using a beauty blender or a dense, like a big dense brush. So it was kind of going all over the place whenever I tried to apply it. But I've been using the Sephora Airbrush Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush brush. And they have this in the normal brush selection, but this is a VIB Rouge exclusive. And so I got this whenever I hit Rouge status again for next year. So I've been using this and it just fits perfectly in the under eye area and I just have been loving it. And this powder is making my concealer last all day, so I love it a lot for that. <laughs> and I, I'm i glad that I finally found a way to make it work that I actually enjoy using it for because this stuff is expensive. And I was really kind of bummed that it didn't work for me for a while. So I'm glad that it is working now and I have really been loving it. And then my last makeup favorite is a setting spray. This is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix 2. This one is the long lasting and moisturizing one. I, don't, I think they've got a hydrating one and then this one, but I'm not positive. I will definitely do my research and editing Megan will confirm or deny right here whether I was correct. But 
This is the tiny travel size bottle. I wanted to try the travel size one before getting the larger one just because I never know what's going to work with my skin. So I love this. I've been using it a lot. I find that my forehead has been really dry lately and this has been really good at just kind of making the makeup melt over it and make it look hydrated and just kind of... I don't want to say flawless. It's not flawless. I don't think anything can ever be actually flawless, but it just makes my forehead look a little more hydrated and makes the skin look a little more even. And so I really like that stuff. I've really been enjoying it and I would definitely recommend it to you guys. And then just a quick mention, this isn't necessarily a favorite, but just in case you guys are wondering, the lipstick that I have on my lips today is one of the Bite Amuse Bouche liquefied lipsticks, and this is in the shade Flambe. I really like it. It's super moisturizing. It's not a typical liquid lipstick. It's a liquefied lipstick. So it's like a tube lipstick that's just been liquefied down, and so you can kind of paint it on. It's a little bit easier to apply than a regular lipstick. It's a little more, well, I don't know that it's, I don't know that it's easier to apply, but it's just a little bit easier to be accurate with it whenever it's a doe foot applicator instead of a tube. But I really love it. I really like the color. It feels really nice on the lips. It's not drying and it smells great. Bite is a great brand for lips. I really, really like it. But yeah, if you're a fan of the Amuse Bouche lipsticks, then I would definitely check these out because it's the same formula. It's just a liquefied down version. And then my next favorite is a homeware favorite. I have it back behind me here. So it is a blanket. This is a Barefoot Dreams ribbed blanket that I got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. If it's still available, I will leave it links down below, but really anything Barefoot Dreams is worth it. I have decided since the sale, I this blanket is like my home security blanket. Like once I get home, I immediately put on comfy clothes, grab this blanket and cuddle up somewhere, whether I'm reading or watching TV. I just want this blanket on me. It feels like butter. Even at night, I will put it over my comforter and kind of pull it up and lay it on my pillow so I can lay my face on it. It just feels amazing. I love it so much. And I'm a little bit mad at Nordstrom right now because I ordered a cardigan that was on sale for the anniversary sale that's this same fabric and after a week and a half of the order already being in and it was back ordered um after a week and a half of the order already being in i got an email from nordstrom that they canceled my order so i'm a little bit pissed about that because i really wanted a cardigan that i could wear out into the real world that felt like this and just feel like i constantly have my blanket with me but whatever i'm not bitter i'm not i'm not so, moving on, um, let's see, TV favorites for this month. Okay, Game of Thrones is back, and that has just taken over my Sunday nights all over again. Um, I don't think I've quite gotten used to the fact that it's back, because it's only been on for two weeks. Tonight it's coming on again, but I don't think I've gotten used to the fact that it's back yet, because it like randomly hits me like it just did that Game of Thrones is back and available to be watched and I'm so pumped I freaking love it already I hate that this is the second to last season and I am just so excited for all of the things to happen if you have not watched Game of Thrones you need to get HBO now and watch it because it will change your life it is just as good as everyone says it is I personally recommend that you watch it with subtitles because that helps you understand what they're saying and it also helps with you learning their names faster. But it is so freaking good. I love it so much. I need more Tyrion in my life. He is my favorite character. I hope that they have a little bit more of him than the last two episodes tonight. But yeah, Game of Thrones is just the bomb. And then a book favorite from this month. I read the book Ready Player One, and if you follow San Diego Comic Con at all, then you know that a trailer for it just came out. It's about a virtual reality type of world. It's like a futuristic society where the world itself is barren and horrible, and there is this virtual reality game console called the Oasis, and it's like everybody has just moved to life in the Oasis, so people are just constantly in their VR set 
and playing this game and living in that world instead of the real world. And it's so good and so interesting and intriguing. And it's a type of world that I could actually see happening. And it's got a ton of 80s movie references. It is very nerdy. The book itself is like ultra nerd status. I am very much so a nerd. And there were parts of the book where I was just rolling my eyes like seriously. <laughs> but the overall concept was really interesting and really fun to follow and I think that the movie is going to be really good. It's directed by Steven Spielberg so I mean I've got faith in him but I would definitely recommend checking that book out if you are an 80s nerd like I am and yeah it's it's definitely interesting and it's good for the men in your life too. I actually read it because Ryan had read it first so yeah, that's my book recommendation for the month. Next, I've got some movie favorites. Let's see, what movies have I seen in the last month? We saw Dunkirk last week, and that was very good and very... I don't want to say emotional, because it wasn't emotional, but it was just very... It, like, grabbed onto you. The music was really nice, like, beautiful music, and it was very intense. I just remember feeling the entire time like I would not I don't know that I would be able to have hope anymore if I was those men trapped on that island like it was just terrifying and sad and heartbreaking but it was it was a very well done movie very very good um and then what else do we see we saw war for the planet of the apes I think is what it was called the newest planet of the apes movie and that one was also very good, also very, very sad and emotional. I mean, it's a war movie, so what more would you expect? But it was very good, very sad. Um, I would recommend it for sure if you've watched the other ones. Definitely rounded out the series really well. I'm not sure if they're going to make more, but if they were to end it on that one, then I think it would be a good stopping place. Like, it just kind of closed out where it had picked up in the first of them. And I think that's it for movies that I've seen this month that I haven't already mentioned. Again, Baby Driver and Spider-Man Homecoming were both really good. I would definitely recommend them. I really want to see both of them again. And then, let's see, music favorites. I have actually been running a lot, and that's when I listen to music most often. And so the music that I have really been into has been, like, the kind of faster, like, tempo driving music and so one of my favorites like my kickoff song for running is Smoke and Retribution by Flume. I've also been listening to a lot of Stevie Wonder. He's got some great music and it's so fun and upbeat and just like happy-go-lucky. I love listening to his stuff while I run. I really like the song Carolina by Harry Styles. I am actually pleasantly surprised with his new album. I think that he has done a great job of like stepping away from the One Direction life that he led before. He's being taken a little more seriously both musically and just professionally. I mean he was in Dunkirk and he actually did a great job and so I would definitely say that one for sure. I think that's really it that I didn't mention last last time I did a favorites. So I think that is everything. I also have been freaking loving the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but also kind of hating it because stuff keeps getting sold off and I can't get it anymore. But I will leave a few of my favorites that are still available linked down below. I got some jeans. I got a perfume set that I thought was a really great deal. It's the Elizabeth and James Black Nirvana perfume. It's like a full-size perfume, a rollerball, and the dry shampoo, which you guys know I love. I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I've been rambling for such a long time and I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So thank you guys for watching this favorites video if you are still watching. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button down below. Also, there is a little bell icon right next to the subscribe button. If you want to make sure that you don't miss any of my uploads, make sure you hit that button too. It's not going to spam you. I'm not going to be sending you messages or anything crazy like that, but it will notify you whenever I have a new video posted. It'll just go into your subscription box. So I think that's everything. If you guys want to follow me on my social media links, they are listed down below. And the link to subscribe is also going to be right here, as well as my most recent favorites video will be linked right here. Molly is barking in the background and I think that's everything. So I'm just going to love you and leave you and have a great day and I will catch you next time.
Bye.